Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Little Wizard Stories of Oz. So this is a short story collection of six short stories that L. Frank Baum created tie in with his Oz series. I think it was designed for younger readers, although personally I couldn't tell much difference in the writing style. It's just that each story in this would, would have been equivalent to like a chapter in one of the Oz books. I read this as part of a buddy read with Joel Swagman. I will link to his video below where he talks about this book. We're basically slowly going through all the Oz books. This is the Dover print edition. It's illustrated with the original illustrations and is actually just a very beautiful copy of the book. As always, I'm going to read the blurb, then I'm going to check out some of my tabs and I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads. After concluding the 14th volume of his popular series, L. Frank Baum returned to the land of Oz in 1914 with six short stories featuring Dorothy, Toto and other beloved characters. Written for slightly younger readers, these hard to find tales offer a fine introduction to Baum's enchanted world. Featured stories include The Cowardly Lion and the Hungry Tiger, Little Dorothy and Toto, TikTok and the Gnome King, Ozma and the Little Wizard, Jack Pumpkinhead and the Sawhorse, and the Scarecrow and the Tin Woodman. This facsimile edition recreates the charm of the original, including its distinctive blue type and more than 40 full colour illustrations. Um, so yeah, the reason we're reading this now is because this is just where it came in the bind up collection that Joel has. Um, Biggie's here, he says hello, don't you Biggie? Are we going to Oz? So we get a, a reference to what happened in the last book that I read, TikTok of Oz. Uh, it says, um, in one of the stories, he says that Toto, unlike the animals of Oz, is unable to speak. This error is understandable because it was not until he wrote TikTok of Oz, a year after the Little Wizard stories, that Baum learned the truth about Toto. He could talk the moment he entered Oz, he just didn't want to. And so this is what happened in TikTok of Oz, which I've already done my re review of. After learning that Toto could speak, Dorothy in TikTok of Oz struggles to persuade the dog to talk. All she gets are woofs. Finally, Toto blurts out, all right, here I go, and then dashes off in embarrassment. Toto talks a great deal in later Oz books. Millions of people who saw the Judy Garland film had, of course, no inkling that, to that Toto could have a lot to say. So that's from the introduction there, written by Martin Gardner. So uh, we'll go to The Cowardly Lion and the Hungry Tiger. Some very cool illustrations. Uh, I don't have a huge amount of tabs from this one, again, because it's just quite short. I mean, it's equivalent to six chapters of one of the Oz books, basically. So we just get this nice little exchange. I wonder how a fat baby will taste, remarked the tiger, as they stalked majestically along side by side. I imagine it will taste like nutmegs, said the lion. Uh, and we get the line, my baby, she said, pleadingly, which just bothers me. It's an un unnecessary... <laughs> I hate, I hate L-Y words, they get overused basically. Little Dorothy and Toto. So here we get that bit referenced in the introduction. Toto could not talk as many of the animals of Oz can, for he was just a common Kansas dog. But he looked at the sign so seriously that Dorothy almost believed he could read it. And she knew quite well that Toto understood every word she said to him. Yeah, he's just choosing not to talk to you. So they go to Crinky Link's castle and it says in, in the introduction it says that Originally, Crinky Link got killed at the end of this, um, but his publishers said that was a bit dark, so he changed it so that it turns out that it's Oz pretending to be Crinky Link, but it doesn't really make sense with Oz's character, so um, the original ending was probably a lot better. But anyway, they're in his castle, and everywhere else were dishes, dishes, dishes. They were all soiled and were piled upon the floor in all the corners and upon every shelf. Evidently, Crinky Link hadn't washed a dish for years, but had cast them aside as he used them. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. I wish I could do that, but you know. So onto TikTok and the Gnome King. And basically what happens in this is the Gnome King destroys TikTok and then someone has to put him back together again. Um, and TikTok asks, what I want to know is, why did you hit me with your mace? Because I was angry, admitted the King. When I am angry, I always do something that I'm sorry for afterward. Yeah, and that's, I think a lot of people are like that. So onto Ozma and the Little Wizard. So in this one, they have uh, the imps, these bad imps. One is called Ollie. One is called Alight, one Udent, and one Ertinent, because impolite, impudent, and impertinent. They're quite fun, you know, it's very playful. Then we have Jack Pumpkinhead and the Sawhorse, and a boy says something pleadingly in this, which again, just, it just winds me up. And then we have the Scarecrow and the Tin Woodman. Um, but that's about all I have to share. As I said, I didn't take a huge number of notes. The illustrations in this are beautiful. This is actually a really nice addition. Um, and they're on most pages, you know, but because of that, and like, it's a short read, it really is a short read, so there's not too much 
that I did want to say about this one. Um, I also don't think it's really necessary to read it. It doesn't like add anything new to the world of Oz or to any of the characters. Um, but I mean, it's nice and it's a nice little addendum. So, um, you know, grab it if, if you can and if you're working your way through the stories. Um, but also equally if you miss it, it's not the end of the world. Um, Joel also mentioned that, that this is available on Project Gutenberg, so because it can be quite hard to track this down, uh, you can just read it there if you want to. So all in all, Little Wizard Stories of Oz by L. Frank Baum. I gave this like a middle of the road 3.5 out of 5. It was okay. I am glad I read it. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I got for you. <laughs> So there we have it, that's what I made of Little Wizard Stories of Oz by L. Frank Baum. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.